hello everybody Anthony is here in this video I will talk about how I printed out this guy if you're curious about the creation process of the 3d modeling please check the 3d code video which was the previous one and this will be all about my setup of the 3d printer before I start I wanted to say that now I'm gonna fill it with the 3d code so if you buy 3d code uh, using the promo code provided in the description you'll get a hundred dollar discount it's like only active for two days usually I only offer for about fifty dollar discounts so first of all, I picked this particular printer. It's a Creality Ender 3 Pro. It costs about 250 American dollars at the current uh, price. So it took me about six hours to assemble it. It was a really, really long process. I used this video, which I will post in the description as well. It's a really useful one, about 30 minutes uh, time lapse of the assembly. So yeah, be prepared. It's going to take a while to get it ready. But currently, it is apparently one of the best um, FFD printers on the market and the, the price wise is really really affordable so the first thing first they have to prepare your model and essentially the tower has been divided into four parts that are easy for print and you can see each part has been exported you can export in both uh, formats STL or OBJ I hope export it as OBJ it doesn't really matter and then we have to go into a slicing software, essentially the slicing software, the software that prepares the model and turns it into a G-code for the printer. So I'm using a slicing software called Cura, uh, Ultimaker Cura, it's free software for anybody. Uh, it's really convenient to use, essentially you can drop any objects inside and then if you rotate them, it will automatically place them in place and in, to the ground so you can see it's drags them up and down so if I g lift it up it's like bam pushes it in and I'm using the Creality profile you can see the presets here so it's like you can say manage printer set printer so Creality and the three um, just the default settings I'm this is more of a like introduction to this, so you can go deeper into settings and how to set up all your prints. But really, I was just printing. I didn't want to get too bothered with the settings of the print. Just wanted to get something out as quick as possible, and I got a pretty good quality out of this stuff. So if I click slice, it will calculate it for a few seconds, and it will prepare your render, and then you can actually preview your a model and how it's going to be printed and what kind of layers and what kind of strokes. Uh, you can see here this was a, a prepared piece so I can actually do this, I can go up and down which is quite cool. You can see it starts with the base, this base is essentially uh, you can pick it here and build plate adhesion. So the adhesion surface of Creality 3 and the Pro is not that great, so I have to build this raft every time. Some people don't have anything, they like use this uh, uh, other stuff like a bream. Raft is the most like material consuming uh, piece. So also for generate supports, click to generate them everywhere. And that's something you have to click yourself. And that's really about everything I modified in this particular uh, project. Uh, you can see here, this was my a uh, G-code file for the Creality uh, printer and that was the final bits so it's quite cool to see when it prints in this kind of high-tech pattern um, on the plate so then I just save it on a removable drive that is a memory stick uh, SD card and plug it into printer and just run it so this is a photo that's been printed, so it took about 11 hours. Uh, the slicing software gives you a pretty accurate estimate on how long it's going to take you. So this was like the printed parts all together. And then I just put them all together, glued them all together uh, to do this. You can see some like streaming that I haven't cleaned up yet. Just use a, I'll just use a, use a toothbrush so they can clean it out. But I also wanted to show a failed print, which is a bit more fun. So I did the first print I did was just the whole tower put inside the printer. And what it does, uh, uh, Cura created the supports that were supporting the whole thing at 90 degree angle, right? So we can see this really durable supports all around the tower. So I had to spend about like an hour just to cutting it out um, outside on the table, 
what was really tedious long task of doing this stuff so i cut it out and then essentially you can see there's some stuff plastic uh, like still inside of it um and yeah so that's this is where i okay, decided that i have to like break it to parts and all the 90 degree angles that the tower had are really quite um not okay so you, you want to either rotate it and place it at about uh, 45 degrees and then print but really if you're doing something like this it's really advisable to just break it down to parts and print it individually and it will save you a lot of material save you a lot of time uh, for the plastic i'm using the blue pla i'll drop uh, a link to something that i'm using as well uh, again it's really safe uh, to use at home unlike the resin printers you can just um, right now I have this printer just under my table and it's just running fine. You can put it overnight and forget about it. So I think it's a really a great way to get yourself into this making process of your own stuff and it feels great when you actually have a little piece of your own design in your hands. Feel free to ask me questions in the comment section and thank you for watching. See you next time.